ஸ்டார்ட் <laughs> I am Barani Dharan from Mayrad Dutra district and I am currently pursuing my second years in BE Computer Science from Government College of Technology, Coimbatore. And right now I am here to explain about my experiences which I got from my first years. Thank you for the warm greetings, Christo. Uh, and I am Sudarshan. I am from Government College of Technology pursuing my second year in Computer Science and Engineering. Uh, and I am excited to share my college experience with you all guys. So this was the introduction of Barani Dharan and Sudarshan. Talking about Barani Dharan and Sudarshan, they are a really good friend of mine. and i am really glad to have friends like them and so moving on to the next question now would you like to tell why did you choose this city and what was the reason behind that and what was the main reason behind selecting csc department after i completed my 12th standard i thought of getting into another line uh, but unfortunately i can't get it so i decided to pursue engineering as soon as i thought about engineering csc came to my mind because it's the most advanced form of engineering and it's developing day by day So I chose computer science and engineering. So and I and I applied for the Tamil Nadu Engineering Council. In that I gave uh, top priorities to CSE in top college, top government colleges uh, like Anna University, and both the campus are Anna University, CEG and MIT. And I gave CAT. Then I gave GCT. Uh, in the top most four priorities, I got GCT. And I'm happy that I get into GCT. This was my story behind getting into GCT. And getting into CS okay well answering to your question christo as like what sudarshan told uh, the growing scope of cac also attracted me so day by day cac is growing and i also wanted to grow so i just joined cac group and my second reason is that cac has this advantage of work from home so we can also work from home right so that is also a reason behind uh, my my choosing of the cac group so the next one the next part is why you choose gct so it's actually a chance factor so while applying for tnea i just uh, saw that nrf ranking and other rankings so i was giving further uh, a few number of colleges before gct and uh, at at some point of time i just gave gct or gct computer science department also so by by chance factor i just got into gct but after getting into gct i haven't regretted at all At, a, at at any point of time i never regretted joining gct because gct is having valuable staffs and good lab facilities also but uh, uh, there are a few drawbacks but uh, the main point is that gct offers you low fees so it's completely lo- less fees and uh, with data i can say that it, it will be uh, around 30000 per year only including hostel fee mess fee and tuition fees and everything will come under 30000 so that's the main factor which is going to attract students into gct and then i talked about placements uh, and then uh, and then next one is that students are going to handle everything which is going to happen in gct so we are going to acquire the skill of being responsible for anything which we are going to do so that's the third thing which i learned after coming into gct so these things which i find uh, more interesting and which attracted me to love gct so that's well said by barani and sudarshan so as they said the reason behind selecting csc and the gct so as barani told the fee structure is one of the main factor that attracts the student to be gct coimbatore so that is 100% true and that was also one of the reason why i chose gct and so moving on to the next question and it is one of the important question as in tamil nadu if you can see most of the students are pursuing biomaths and the student face a lot of difficulties when they transfer from bio to computer science department and would you like to share some of the tips that the student should avoid from bio to computer science transition initially the transition was pretty hard for me as i was a bio student in 12th standard but then i decided to learn what this is these cs students do to do effective coding as well as learning since they know all the basic syntax they apply the mathematical concepts into it and uh, computer science is basically like mathematics uh, once you get to know the concepts you can apply those concepts in the syntax of the in the syntax thereby you can do effective programming 
So I learned the basic syntax and then I applied the concepts into it uh, and then it was pretty, then it became pretty easy for me. Uh, but coding also re required effective practicing. Uh, what I got, what I'm going to say to all of you guys is that don't fear when you get from bio to CSC. First, uh, first do up a schedule to learn everything and then apply those concepts. Then it will be pretty easy for you. I'm sure you, you can also do like me. Well, uh, actually, that's Sudarshan point of view. But don't think that it will be so tough at the starting stages. Actually, the transition from biology to computer science will be smoother if you just have some prerequisites. So what I'm saying is that before starting with engineering classes, you need to give you give yourself a month or so, one month or a lesser period of time to get your basics actually. So what I'm talking about basics is so simple. Just this is CPU, this is compiler, and this is an IDE. This is this is Java language. So there are some prerequisites which you need to know before entering into engineering classes. So because once you enter into engineering classes, they will just get a bit faster. So if you are going to learn at that point of time, it will be difficult. So have some prerequisite knowledge. And what I did to manage this was I just took a course called as CS50. It is available in YouTube also. So there uh, a professor uh, we used to teach me what is computer science, what are the branches and uh, uh, he started with C programming languages too. So he taught from right from the basics. So that helped me a lot and uh, by the way this helped and I converted myself from biology to CAC in a smooth manner. So as said by Barney and Sudarshan, these were some of their experiences and these were some of the valuable points that you should keep in mind when the transition is from bio to computer science. So as Barney said that uh, it is more advantageous for the students, for the bio students I would say, when they go for computer science department uh, in engineering colleges, it is more preferred that in your holidays when you get the gap of uh, two to three months when you apply for engineering colleges for the admission, in that gap it is uh, preferred that you should learn basics of computer science then it would be easier for you in the first year of your engineering. So moving on to the next question, now Barney and Sudarshan would you like to share your online experience and what all other do's and don'ts that a student should avoid in their online classes. Yes Christo, talking about online experience, it was uh, really a new experience for me because all through my life I have been learning classes in offline and I have not been in an online class. I hope other students are also not in uh, those online classes and it was really a new experience for me. I, at, at the start of it, I, I also thought it was pretty boring because uh, we are only viewing the screens and it's not as effective as that of offline classes. But once you get, once you are focused and get attentive in the classes, you can be, you can be, you can learn much and you can be more intellectual. Uh, what are, uh, speaking about the do's and don'ts, uh, I want you all to be focused and attentive during the online classes. Take notes as possible; uh, it will increase your uh, concentration. And make a schedule, because in home you, you may have so many disturbances. So make a schedule for studying. Uh, in, in that time you can study and at the other time you can you can make it free time you can do whatever you want and what are the don'ts is avoid distractions please turn off your not notifications in mobile it will help you concentrate more and more in class because uh, once you get a notification alert you will see the mobile and you will lose the focus, focus on class so turn off all the notifications in your mobile and avoid online gamings because since it's an online class it's become pretty easier for us to shift through the tabs uh, to play games and playing these games gets more and more addictive so that we will lose uh, lose up all your all our concentration in the class so what i want all you guys is stop playing online games as well as offline games and the other don'ts is uh, be in a quiet room uh, as well as don't lie around in bed and or in a chair or uh, what a chair means like cushion chair uh, be in be firm and sit straight. It will help you focus more and more in the class. Uh, and it also help you uh, and it also help you not to lose your concentration. Uh, that's it, guys. Well, as what Sudarshan told, everything applies with my points too. So what I wanna told, everything is said by Sudarshan. But apart from them, apart from 
those things which i want to say is that about my mistakes which i did while i was studying my first years so what i did was uh, i had a mindset that we are expo- exposed to internet sources and we are exposed to youtube channels so what i thought was yeah we can learn later from the youtube channels and i can learn more than those what are being taught but actually that's not the case because if you postpone a work from now to then then there will be also some works which you need to do so it will get collided and it will be a great mess there at most i will say that learn your lectures right from that point so don't postpone or don't procrastinate while learning those lectures actually your online classes will be good if you attend them with your fullest concentration so the ne- next mistake which i did was i haven't i haven't interacted with my staffs at all during my first years so this led to me uh, let to a fear that uh, i won't be turning on my mic at all during any of the lectures so if i get any doubt during the lectures also i can't resolve it actually so right now i am currently uh, trying to solve those problems so the advice which i need to give from this instant is try to interact with your teachers right from the beginning so that will keep you engaged as well as uh, it will compel you to concentrate on the lectures so that will be much better interaction must okay so that's the second piece of advice which i would like to give and then uh, third thing is cgpa is must uh, so after concentrating on cgpa you need to also find in which field you are going to enter into computer science department so there are computer science is a vast field and you need to find which field you are going to get in like web development app development and uh, Uh, data scientist and many other sub fields are there so you must find your point of interest and try to get engaged into it so that's all i will be talking about my uh, first year mistakes and tips which you need to correct it so this was all about the online experience that sudarshan and barney had experienced and uh, adding on to them the do's and the don'ts in online class that i would like to add is that just don't shift between the tabs and just don't shift the apps i would say and focus on what the teachers are teaching and uh, you would regret a lot i would like to share my personal experience means uh, i don't pay attention much attention in class i just procrastinate things and uh, in my personal experience and according to my view i don't find these online class much means interacting that's why i skip these classes i won't say i skip means just for the sake of attending it i just attended and when the exams came in the end semesters came kind of i regretted that i didn't pay much attention and at that time the whole night we have to study a lot and so this is one of the thing that i would like to share from my experience and so pay attention to the class and just for that 40 to 50 minutes that the teacher is teaching you pay your full attention so that is all about the do's and don'ts of online class so moving on to the next question now would you like to share your experience in offline classes and how did you experience and how the teachers were and how the classes and how the lab practicals were going on and all the other things related to offline classes hey christo as soon as you start talking about offline classes a smile came into my face because it was really really a beautiful experience for me um i seen all my friends only through the screens and it was like it was not that much interactive but once i get uh, get to see them in offline um it was really a, it was really nice because i imagine them in a different way uh as we get to see only the faces we could imagine we could imagine the the different heights but once i saw them in reality it was be really different and it was also like uh it, it was it was like a bird returning to its nest to play with all of its uh, siblings and it, it was pretty good for me uh, it was totally interactive and we could discuss lessons and we played lot lot that and we went out things and we spent time with our teachers it was all really good for me talking about the classes in offline it was really effective because teachers uh, taught us the lessons with practical example and if you got any doubts uh, we could ask him at that point uh, at that time itself so it was really effective and it was really really a good experience for us and it uh, and we are also able to know much better than in online classes talking about my experiences in offline at gct see actually we attended only 40 days of the offline classes in gct uh, that is actually 20 days in my first years and 20 days in my second years so in my 20 days of first years we had a, a practical exams theory exams and uh, 
practical classes too so practical classes were almost one week only so during that one week i learned many things so the whole week was productive for me and uh, the facilities lab facilities was really awesome so uh, so in my, uh, when i came to my home i was literally saying that i know how to build i know how to do carpentry works so everything we learned from a, a lab called as foundry lab so they they taught everything and in c programming lab too it was uh, top notch so everything was good and we did everything by our own and they also conducted model labs and apart from study purpose we had actually a good time roaming around gct so we were let out and we were uh, roaming in those uh, streets and we ate outside in some famous hotels with our friends so we created memories during our offline classes so this was all about the offline experience that barnidharan and sudarshan has shared and all about the lab classes and the practicals and how did they happen so now moving on to the next question would you like to share some of the coding experience means how the beginner should start coding and some of the study tips and some of the websites and some of the platforms to prefer for coding yes mr talking about the study tips the best strategy i would prefer you all to take notes while attending the class it's the best way uh, best best way for me and i hope it will be good the best way for you all to cause you listen to the class and you take notes based on your, on your understanding and it and it will help you read fast and and it will also be in your memory for a long time and since it's an online class we get the opportunity to uh, to take resources from all over the internet uh, you can refer many websites for learning and based uh, on coming to coding uh, you can also refer youtube videos like uh, i watch nessa videos of nessa academy you can you can refer any channels like uh, there are so many coding channels available in, uh, in youtube and they are also available in your native language you can choose anything speaking about coding there are so many websites available for coding you can you, you can use uh, hacker rank or uh, github and coming to the theory concepts you can refer geeks for geeks w3 schools and uh, you can also see tutorials point uh, there are also so many concepts available in that and i hope these websites will help you build your knowledge on computer science so if you look for coding as a beginner how did i start how uh, how did i start i preferred youtube videos and i referred them and youtube videos there are so many youtube videos you can get there and for practicing you can go and get the questions from the google as sudarshan and barney said and uh, you can go and practice it from the hacker rank so i am currently using hacker rank so you can go and practice and brush up your skills there so according to the levels easy medium and hard so according to that you can go and practice the questions there and so these were some study tips that barney and sudarshan has shared and it would be very helpful for you all and if you follow them and keep these points in your mind and incorporate these things in your college life and now comes one of the most interesting and the fun part question how was your hostel experience and what all the hostel atrocities that you would like to share and how did you experience and tell us something about the hostel life that's an interesting topic mr the hostel life is really magical for me because i have not been in hostel since my school days uh, I, i was a day scholar in my school days but uh, this is the first time i get into hostel and i i had initial fears how can i handle the handle the situations like that and how can i take care of my own like uh, own things like laundry and other things but it was really jolly it was really jolly with friends and it was really a beautiful experience that coming to the mess food uh, though it's not as good as we prefer in our home uh, it was okay for a college student but more than the food what we had is that the, what we had what we enjoyed is the fun we had that we we sit like a separate gang in that we actually occupied a place for us and all of our cs members were in that and we lead that and we also trouble our friends uh, trouble our friends while eating and we also talk a lot and it was really really a good experience for me because i was a newbie to hostel so talking about the hostel experiences which i got from gct tamil la dhan pesi aganu ena hostel experiences abdingirathu sirappana taramana sambhavathala anga dhan neenga nerla paapinga so first time hostel la nane so enakku vandha hostel andha alavukku mosama irukku abdinna solla maten and 350 rupaya dhan gct hostel ku kattrom abdingiradha nenachi anga facility kammiya irukku abdinna nenachir koodadhu because na irundha varaikkume anga gct hostel la vandu daily daily clean pannuvaanga ellame clean ah irukum so நீங்கள் கட்டுற ஃபீஸ்க்கு அது ரொம்ப அதிகம் அப்படின்னு கூட நினைக்கிறதுக்கு சம்டைம்ஸ் சான்சஸ் இருக்குது அண்ட் அந்த க்ளீன் க்ளென்லினஸ் 
ஃபீஸ் அதெல்லாம் அப்படியே உரமா வச்சுட்டு ஜிசிடி ஹாஸ்டலில் என்ன ஸ்பெஷல் அப்படின்னு கேட்டிங்கன்னா அங்கே ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஷிப்பு அப்புறம் சந்தோஷம் எல்லாம் அப்படியே தாறு மாறாக இருக்கும் ஸோ நினச்சி பார்க்கலாம்ல ஒரு ஒரு வருஷம் ஃபுல்லாக அந்த கோவிட் நைன்டீன் பேண்டமிக்னால நான் எல்லோரும் வீட்லேயே இருந்திருக்கோம் ஸோ சடனாக போயிட்டு ஒரு முந்நூறு பேர் கூட என்ஜாயபுளாக இருக்கணும் அப்படின்னு நினச்சிட்டு அங்கே போயிட்டு தங்கி சந்தோஷமாக இருந்து அந்த நினைவுகள்லாம் எப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு நீங்கள் லைட்டாக யோசிச்சு பார்த்தாலே அந்த ஒரு விஷயம் உங்களுக்கு புரிஞ்சிடும் என்ன சொல்ல வரேன் அப்படின்ட்டு ஸோ இட்ஸ் அண்ட் அன்எக்ஸ்பிரஸபிள் ஃபீலிங் அப்படின்னு கூட சொல்லலாம் அண்ட் தென் ஹாஸ்டல் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் ஒரு பக்கம் இருக்க மெஸ்ஸில் போயிட்டு பார்த்தோம்னா சாப்பாடு ஓரளவுக்கு தான் இருக்கும் ஏன்னா ஏன்னா பர் மந்த்துக்கு வந்து டூ தௌசண்ட் தான் மெஸ்பீஸ் வாங்குவாங்க ஸோ பர் டேக்கு நீங்கள் கேல்குலேட் பண்ணாலும் அரௌண்ட் ஹண்ட்ரடுக்கும் கம்மியாக தான் இருக்கும் ஸோ அதை வச்சு நீங்கள் கெஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஸோ ஹாஸ்டல் மெஸ் வந்து எப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ இருந்தாலும் சாப்பிடலாம் அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கும் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் இயர் மெஸ் வந்து ஓரளவுக்கு நல்லா இல்லை பட் செகண்ட் இயர் மெஸ் வந்து ஓகே சூப்பராக இருந்துச்சு மதியானம் ஃபுல்லாக சாப்பாடு மட்டும் தான் போடுவாங்க ஆனால் சைட் டிஷ் மட்டும் வெரைட்டி வெரைட்டியாக இருக்கும் ஸோ ஹாஸ்டல் மெஸ்ஸு அதையும் அப்படி ஓரமாக வச்சுட்டு பாக்கி வேறு என்ன தான் இருக்கும் மெஸ்ஸில் அது ஐ மீன் ஹாஸ்டலில் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஓகே ஃப்ரீ டைம் அப்படின்னு ஒன்று கிடச்சிருச்சுன்னா பசங்க வந்து கீழே இறங்கி கீழே நல்லா பெரிய கிரவுண்டாக இருக்கும் கிரவுண்டு இந்த சென்ஸ் கிரவுண்டுன்னு சொல்ல முடியாது பட் அது ஒரு ஃப்ரீ ஸ்பேஸ் ஸோ அதை வந்து கிரவுண்டாக யூஸ் பண்ணிப்பாங்க பசங்க ஸோ கிரவுண்டில் வந்து கிரிக்கெட் விளாடுவாங்க ஒன் சைடு இன்னொரு சைடு வந்து ஃபுட்பால் விளாடுவாங்க ஸோ உங்களுக்கு எது பிடிச்சிருக்கோ போய் ஜாயின் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஆனால் அவங்களோட ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அதில் இருந்தாங்கன்னா கொஞ்சம் உங்களுக்கும் கம்ஃபர்டபுளாக இருக்கும் ஸோ சம்டைம்ஸ் நீங்கள் உங்கள் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் பசங்களே கொண்டு போயிட்டு கூட்டு விளாடலாம் ஸோ இன்னொரு டீமாக கிரியேட் பண்ணிட்டு ஸோ தட் வில் பி சம் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃபீலிங் அண்ட் ஃபஸ்ட் இயர் ஹாஸ்டலில் இன்னொரு அட்வான்டேஜ் என்னென்னா நீங்கள் வந்து உங்களோட ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸை வந்து சூஸ் பண்ணிக்க முடியாது யார் யார் என் கூட தங்க போகிறா அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ ரேண்டமாக தான் அவங்க வந்து பிக் பண்ணி போடுவாங்க இது இதுவும் ஒரு அட்வான்டேஜ் ஏன்னு கேட்டிங்கன்னா வேறு வேறு டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்டோட உங்களுக்கு வந்து பழக்க வழக்கங்கள் வரும் ஸோ அப்படி வர்றப்ப கான்டாக்ட் அதிகமாகும் அதை வச்சு நீங்கள் இன்னும் அது அதுவும் ஒரு வேறு லெவல் ஃபீலிங் ஸோ அது அதை வந்து இப்போதைக்கு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ண முடியாது நீங்கள் போயிட்டு ஒன்ஸ் இன்ஹெரிட் பண்ணி அதை வந்து ஃபீல் பண்ணி பார்த்தா தான் உங்களுக்கும் புரியும் ஸோ ஓவரால் ஜிசிடி ஹாஸ்டல் வந்து ஃபுல் ஆஃப் மெமரிஸ் க்ரியேட் பண்ணி விட்டுரும் அண்ட் நீங்கள் சப்போஸ் டே கம்மராக இருந்தீங்கன்னா இந்த மெமரிஸ் எல்லாம் கன்ஃபார்ம் மிஸ் பண்ணுவீங்க ஸோ ஐ வில் ஆஸ்க் எவ்ரி ஒன்ட் டு பிகம் ஆஸ் அன் ஹாஸ்டலர் பட் அந்தளவுக்கு ஹாஸ்டலில் இடமும் இல்லை ஸோ எது நடக்குதோ அது மட்டும் தான் நடக்கும் அண்ட் ஹாஸ்டலில் பற்றி கவலைப்பட வேணாம் ஸோ ஃபெசிலிட்டிலாம் நல்லா தான் இருக்கும் ஸோ நீங்கள் ஒரு ரிச் கிளாஸ் பீப்புள் நான் அப்படி இருந்தவன் இப்படி இருந்தவன் அப்படின்னு நினச்சி வந்தால் தான் இங்கே ஹாஸ்டலில் வந்து ஐயோ என்ன இவ்வளோ தான் இருக்குது அப்படின்னு நினைப்பீங்க ஸோ மற்றபடி ஹாஸ்டல் லைஃப் இஸ் பர்ஃபெக்ட் சூப்பர் So this was all about the hostel experience that Barney and Sudarshan said talking about the first year hostel. So we have three blocks and me and Sudarshan were in the same block and so that Barney was in Konnayar block. So we have uh, Palar, Konnayar and Kaveri. So no, I guess it is Konnayar, Palar and Kaveri. I don't remember the order but these are the three hostel blocks for the first year. And so we all CAC gang and we enjoyed a lot. And talking about the mess, we all would sit together in mess. And there is means in one corner, we all CAC gang sit there. So it was a great experience. And uh, so these all were the hostel experience. And we have to keep our things clean. So this was all about the hostel experience. And we have enjoyed a lot. And I would say you'll also be enjoying a lot. Just I would like to tell you one thing, guys, that uh, don't go into bad things. And uh, don't bad things, I would say. say any addiction uh, in first year you won't it won't be affecting you but later on later on when you'll be promoted to next year don't get vulnerable and use your time effectively in hostel you'll get lot of free time in hostel so use them effectively and use them in a productive way and do participate in all the clubs and the societies that are in college and there are 100 great ones that would be added and on that basis only you'll get your final fourth year graduation certificate so don't take this lightly and do participate in some of the some of the other clubs so that you can gather those 100 points easily and the last and the concluding question would you like to share some of the tips tips i would say some of the valuable advice for the juniors though i am not mature enough to give advice uh, i can really share my points on that Uh, okay anyway to got into a college from school and it's not like school college is not like school actually uh, you are you are not hampered by the teachers uh, here you are independent yeah every, everything that has to be done by your own you will get you will get freedom a lot um, you you are teachers want to ask you whether you studied or not they only conduct
uh, but I'm but I'm not restricting you to uh, only study those rules. You can also have free time. Um, what I say, uh, like like I previously said, uh, make a schedule for studying as well as uh, playing or or any other free time you prefer or any leisure time. In that study time, uh, you study, and in that free time, you can enjoy a lot. Uh, this was this was my final advice because I'm doing it like that. Uh, once I came from the college, I'll I'll make a separate time for study, and after studying, and I'll do my other activities. And in the leisure time, I enjoy with my friends and I play. Just try to apply these advices. Uh, I hope it will also help you, like it did for me. So now we are at the end part of the video. So I would like to make precise conceptuals which I told in this overall video. First one is you need to learn engineering by your heart either it is online classes or offline classes you must pay attention okay second one is that cgpa is must in engineering or uh, or in any other uh, uh, educational departments a cgpa or percentage is must right so same works for engineering too so uh, cgpa is the filtering pro uh, filtering criteria which most of the placement companies use but if you are trying to become as a startup uh startup ceo or some other like so so in there at that point cgpa is not a matter and your conceptual thinking and knowledge matters so second one is cgpa and third one is that during your first years try to learn what is your skill so and after learning what you are interested in try to update it develop it and uh, explore further and further fields just don't stop because you are right in your first years so never ever stop exploring okay so after learning the skill update it so fourth one is that if you are a beginner in coding don't try to go for hacker rank or hacker earth websites just get a pdf which consists of beginner problems in any languages if you prefer and just try to solve it and think that coding is just not typing it is thinking okay so that's the ultimate point of coding and uh, then fifth one is uh, something which i need to say is uh, um see life is a journey so there is no end point that after that you will be enjoying or after that you will be satisfied so life is a journey just enjoy the journey so meanwhile you can uh, enjoy whatever you wish but you need to have some restriction uh, restrictions and limitations so do whatever you wish but do it rightly do it with limits uh, and then what else you will uh, receive from gct is that uh, you will be gaining responsibility a lot see you are responsible for your life so that's the ultimate thing which you will be gaining from gct so that's my speech thank you christopher for giving me this opportunity to interact with our juniors through youtube platform thank you so these were some valuable advice that parani and sudarshan have shared as a second year student i would say so all those things that they have experienced in the college so they are sharing their mistakes and their their faults and their mistakes and i would suggest do learn from them and don't repeat those mistakes in your first year and i would like to thank sudarshan and bharni for this honest talk and i hope uh, the students would have enjoyed this honest talk and they would have got to know much more about the csa department that's all for this video and i hope you like this video thank you for watching it share it maximum with your friends may other students also get benefited from this video to help us make more such videos do like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment also your each comment i read them and i give them personally a heart also and if possible i reply to your comments also and thank you everyone for watching it this is christopher signing off take care and bye bye